Okay, back after some days of uh, issues and sorting out this uh, Ender 3 Pro. So, in the end, we fitted a new board. It's the uh, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini. Uh, it's the 3.0 version. So, the old version 2 was the problem uh, with the, uh, the failed prints randomly failing between almost fully built and uh, just at low level. In fact, one of them, as you probably remember, failed halfway through printing the uh, the first layer. So uh, changing the board has solved that problem. We've done a number of prints now. One of these, which I don't have anymore, it's been given away, was uh, I think it was over four hours. The uh, Maker's Muse calibration castle was I think over eight hours we'll find out in a minute I haven't touched that yet don't know whether it's a success or not um, main differences on this board we have the uh, slightly different version of the USB socket why they don't use just USB sockets I, you know, I just don't know uh, you know how hard can it be I suppose it wouldn't fit in there so you'd have to make some modifications to the metalwork. Well, I've assumed it won't fit. I'd actually have to try that, but that might be the reason it hasn't been uh, changed to USB-C. Um, the board, there is a difference. Uh, the fan here that used to run, well, you can see the machines on normally with the earlier boards, this fan would be running constantly, which is a real pain in the backside. But with the new board, uh, it does not run all the time, only when uh, the, uh, the machine is actually doing something so that keeps it much quieter. Uh, on the board itself, uh, on the earlier board there was uh, two fan wires that went into screw terminals and uh, actually there's a now a PWM socket uh, so that's what's controlling that and you just have to crimp some connectors on and the little plug that goes into the board so uh, a little bit of work to do there other than that it was all absolutely fine no issues uh, that is a big improvement uh, this I doubt that's going to make much difference they claim that it is much more reliable and longer lasting but I'm not convinced about that particularly uh, so we have uh, spent some time leveling the bed and uh, done some test prints. These are all from uh, Angus's website, uh, Makers Muse. So we had this, two of these little calibration pieces came out, no problem. The other one was pretty much stuck in there and I had to carefully peel that out so you might be able to call that a success this is part of the um, castle you can print the whole castle which is a long print and if you really haven't got things dialed in properly you're wasting your time so you can print off the little drawbridge first separately just to see if that is working now I thought it was interesting the bridging you know the layers that are stretched across uh, open space uh, just looking at that top piece I don't think I'm going to get much better than that even with uh, fan shroud and modifications I think uh, it's just not worth if we bring this forward I'm not sure this one's printed quite as well but I'm pretty happy with those I don't think uh, you know long printing uh, spending a long time printing a new fan shroud is going to really improve matters very much there um, might be worth a go but I'm not sure it's worth the effort so that printed fine uh, we have then went on to this calibration tower and unfortunately it just lifted uh, it warped just a little bit as it was being built and I think the uh, print nozzle was hit the layer and it's just shifted it around you can see that that is you know obviously should be lined up but I'm not sure it's made a hell of a lot of difference to the end product and uh, this will go up to the 0 0.15 line so uh, I was reasonably happy uh, with that as well so you could 
whoops, seems to have printed off uh, pretty good. Now the main, the real test is going to be whether this uh, actually works. The drawbridge should obviously come down. Uh, this is, uh, it twists various ways and comes out. Um, so yeah, I suppose the best thing to do here would be put the camera down and um, where are we? Can you even see it? Yeah, I'm just going to lift that off and uh, see if it uh, works. So that's the drawbridge down. Let's just bring this in a bit closer. Probably not the best colour to uh, pick up. So I mean, it's printed pretty nicely, but I don't know whether we're going to be able to get this tower out. No, it feels pretty much locked solid, which is no great surprise. I wasn't expecting it to uh, work. It's a bit sharp. I can't really get good leverage on that. I wonder if we can uh, just get some uh, some grippers on there and just twist that and open it. I mean, it's printed pretty well. I don't know whether you can see that. But uh, clearly. Oh, and that should. Oh, was there yeah, something that lifts out? Oh, yeah, that bit in the middle should lift out. But again, I'm not expecting that to lift out. That's probably stuck. There's only a couple of bits holding it in. I don't know whether you can see this bit here should pull and that whole thing should come out I mean, it's pretty loose but it's just not I'm trying to see what it's stuck to I think I'm gonna have to do this off camera and just see if I can loosen any of these parts up because it's God, it's close, it's almost, almost loose. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no, it does, yeah, it does should, there we go. But it won't come out until you've, uh, okay, so I'm pleased with that, that is uh, now loose. But of course you can't take it out because <laughs> you've got a groove on this that will focus. Come on. Why won't that focus? There we go. There's a little groove here for it to come out, but it's locked in place uh, by that. I wonder if I can just get a cloth on here and twist that and see if it undoes. No, I don't think that is going to budge. Just looks like there is some um, focus. If you just look in there around that slot, it just looks like there's a few bits where it's uh, bonded to the outer wall. I might see if I could just free some of that up with a blade. It would have been nice if I could undo that, but it doesn't. I wonder what that slot's in there for. You reckon that's to get a screwdriver in there and just give it a little twist might uh, might try that so very close to being a success but uh, I'm going to leave turn the camera off and I'm going to see if I can actually free this up and I'll be back in a minute well much to my amazement that this has actually been a success um, all I had to do was pop a large flat bladed screwdriver in there just give it a little tweak and that just freed up those bits that were bonded around the edge and uh, this now actually works so drawbridge down this is actually quite hard to get out and uh, you've just got to twist it various ways there's only one way to get this out and that's not it there we go 
so you can see how clever that is there's some codes there's a I'm not going to show you because it might spoil it for other people but there's a code on here it's just been printed in there and actually when you take the door up and there's another code just printed on the back so I think uh, I'm pretty pleased with uh, with that um, it's not perfect but it's as probably as close as I'm ever going to get really not convinced it's worth building a fan shroud to improve a few little bits with a minor improvement um, so yes I'm delighted with that I think we're probably ready to get on with some uh, proper printing so I would definitely recommend going off to Angus's website it's uh, makersmuse.com I think he's, uh, he's got a YouTube channel probably one of the better YouTube channels out there I was uh, very impressed when I came across his channel uh, this is a paid for model um, you can download all the other bits and pieces of as part of that it's a couple of quid it's very well worth while downloading I'll put the links to that but I certainly would advise printing off these little test prints first um, perhaps the drawbridge the calibration tower again is also a good one this um, should not come off but it should raise up to the level where your printer is happy working at in my case it's the 0.15 bit at the top I know it warped at the bottom uh, so I, uh, I'm not sure it's made much difference to the outcome perhaps it has but the main test is printing this uh, calibration castle which I now can't get back together again properly oh, there we go so yeah that is it back together very clever to have been able to design that. <laughs> it's really impressive. Anyway, happy with the printer now. I think uh, we're just going to get on with some useful prints. Uh, probably no more modifications to uh, the Ender 3 Pro, and I'll get on to the uh, CR10 smart pro which needs calibrating and setting up and uh, a few test prints uh, like this so yeah hope that was useful i would certainly recommend that big tree tech v3 board um, there's some slight improvements that are probably worth having and of course in my case i had no choice because the v2 was in fact faulty so uh, yeah there we go hope that helps